Yes, I am live now. Welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu, and you are watching Sahu Tutorial. So, yeah, in this YouTube video, I will be covering 100 MCQ questions on English literature for the upcoming Presidency University English literature entrance exam. I will be covering here 100 MCQ questions. Who's well? I know that there is tomorrow is your exam now. So, I will be covering here 100 MCQ questions. I will be covering here 100 MCQ questions. Do well. I will be covering very fast. Okay. I will be covering. Uh, 100 MCQ questions okay very first okay to join quickly and let me know if everything is okay uh, if I am audible and visible to all of you who join quickly I'll be quickly uh, completing okay 100 MCQ for the upcoming PMDET that is President's University Master Degree Entrance Exam okay to join quickly okay I think everything is okay I don't want to waste your time uh, because tomorrow is your exams for you see here uh, let's begin the session okay but let's begin this session here okay let's begin this session i'll be covering a 100 mcq questions very fast very rapidly okay so do join and do answer if you want but i will be completing okay 100 mcq very fast and after that okay i'll be doing another session okay i'll be doing another session so blank verse was introduced in english literature blank verse was introduced in english literature in earl of surrey that is okay henry howard's translation of Virgil's Enid, Metamorphosis, uh, Eliot, and Orlando Furioso. So, blank verse was introduced in English literature in, in the works of Surrey. But in which work of Surrey? Earl of Surrey, that is uh, Henry Howard. So, Henry Howard's Earl of Surrey is translation of Virgil's Enid. Okay, he has translated Virgil's Enid. Okay, so here he is the right answer. In which novel did Thomas Hardy introduce Wessex? Wessex for the first time was introduced in which novel of Thomas Hardy? Your options are prayer of blue eyes, under the green trees, far from the madding crowd, taste of the dear bliss. So yeah, in which novel did Thomas Hardy introduce Wessex? You can answer in the comment box if you want. Okay. If you want, you can answer in the comment box. But I will be covering, I will be covering 100 MCQ questions for the upcoming PMDET. And after finishing this, okay, after completing this uh, video, okay, I will be making another video for the for the President's University Master Degree in Criticism. I know tomorrow is your exam, so I will be helping you out okay, to uh, to make to provide some uh, important MCQ questions for the upcoming uh, exam. So let's see. It is actually um, uh, far from the yeah, far from the Madding Cloud. Far from the Madding Cloud is the novel where uh, he has for the first time has introduced uh, Wessex. Okay. So you see, in 1895, in an 1895 preface to the 1874 novel that is far from the Madding Cloud, he described Wessex as a merely realistic dream country. Okay, merely realistic dream country which of the following is a cartel sonnet that is 101 by 2 so this is the cartel sonnet the structure here on first looking into chapman's homer death be not proud the world is too much with us and pied beauty so cartel sonnet that was uh, introduced by gerald manley hopkins in his three poems one of them is pied beauty here other two poems are peace and as bombs hopkins only example of the form are pied beauty where that is uh, examples of the form that is cartel sonnet which pied beauty peace and as so these are three works where hopkins had okay used cartel sonnet where did satan hold a solemn council with the fallen angels okay paracelsus pandemonium celestial city garden of eden where did satan okay in paradise lost hold a solemn council so paradise lost was written in uh, blank verse first 10 books were published in 1667 and two books were added, uh, two books were added, uh, added okay, in the second edition that came in 1674. Uh, okay, so here uh, it is actually Pandemonium. Okay, Pandemonium, the capital of capital of uh, hell, uh, hell is known as uh, Pandemonium. So uh, Satan here uh, hold a solemn council with the foreign uh, Pandemonium. Pandemonium is the right answer. Chalo. Which following writers did not get Nobel Prize? Octavio Paz got Nobel Prize, Arendt Taylor got Robert First, William Butler, it's got. But Robert First did not uh, did not get okay, a Nobel Prize, but he was awarded four times. Okay, four times Pulitzer Award. Pulitzer, Pulitzer, okay, chalo. Pulitzer Award was uh, awarded okay, four times to Robert First. Next question. What is the name of G.K. Testing detective? Father Brown. Okay. Father Brown. Father Brown is the okay, G.K. Testing detective. Next question. Who wrote the following lines? The wind disentangles itself from your frenzied body as hurricanes of dreams follow me. Nizimizical, 
are partisarati joined the mahapatra petis landi so the wind disentangles itself from your frenzied body as hurricane of dreams follow me uh, these lands appear in petis landi so okay poem here it is new uh, the now where men the now where men is the name of the poem where these lands appear here you see the wind uh, disentangles itself from your frenzied body this is uh, stanza 4 in stanza 4 we uh, can find these lines the now where men by petis landi which one of the following is not a gurudev's gurudev singh's novel aadha chandni raat aadha chandni raat this is a novel by gurudev singh parsa is also a novel uh, mari daha diva that is last flicker is also a novel by gurudev singh whereas godan is a novel by mul uh, by by munshi premcha okay by munshi premcha the hindi better okay munshi premcha so okay. godan is a and here is the godan is actually that is cow donation godan okay cow donation is a famous hindi novel by munshi premcha it was first published in 1930 Uh, 6 it is considered one of the greatest hindi novels of modern indian literature okay themed around the socio economic and deprivation as well as the exploitation of the village poor the novel was the last completed novel of premchand it has been translated into english in 1957 by joy ratan and purushottam lal as the gift of a cow so godan was translated into english here godan was translated into english you see that godan was translated into english by purushottam lal as the gift of cow which is a work by a uh, munshi premchand who made the sensational uh, pronouncement of end of ideology end of ideology in 1960 uh, david bell graham green mulkas anand octavio patch so end of ideology actually david bell and the name of the book is here you see the end of ideology is a book written by daniel bell it is david bell na it is daniel bell okay it is daniel it is not david it is daniel okay it is daniel bell okay and the name of the book is here you see the end of ideology is a book written by daniel bell in 1960 in simple words uh, bell talks about how big ideas about politics from the past were used up not so important anymore Th those big ideas of past are not so important anymore he thinks that smaller and more specific ideas would become more popular nowadays he believes that most people who are reasonable do not care much about political ideologies now instead they focus on making small changes using technology to improve the existing system bill also that is daniel bill also says that because of well of welfare states and agreements between different groups there would not be many movements trying to overthrow democracy because they would not attract the working class anymore fandar is a character in fandar important character in galsortis uh, galsortis justice devis was arms the man James is the whale of the saints. Galsortis loyalties. So, Falda, the character appears in Galsortis. Okay, justice, justice. Next question. Sir Ralph Bloomfield Bonington is a character in G.B. Soch. Candida, Man and Superman, the Doctor's Dilemma, Pygmalion. Ah, uh, it is uh, Bloomfield Bonington appears in Doctor's Dilemma. G.B. Soch, Doctor's Dilemma. So, C is the right answer. Okay. Okay, I am doing uh, very fast because uh, tomorrow is your exam, so I will be covering. Okay, uh, so many questions. Okay, in this video. So, Jimmy Potter. Uh, is the uh, the, the vituperative anti-hero who is the archetype of the angry young man appears in John Osborne's famous play The Entertainer, Luke Bagginanger, Evidence, Waste of Suez. Luke Bagginanger first performed in 1956. So the Jimmy Potter, Jimmy Potter, kitchen sink drama. It's it is also known as kitchen sink, kitchen sink drama. Okay, kitchen sink drama, kitchen sink drama. Next question. Chalo. Harold Pinter, a playwright of international status, was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. 2000. Two, three, five. Two thousand five. Okay. Two thousand five. Okay. देखो मैं इस वीडियो को लेंथ भी कर सकता हूँ। मैं लेंथ भी नहीं करना चाहिए मेरा। मैं I I I don't want to lend to enlarge the book to end this video. Okay. चलो। Who among the following to write is known uh, for his love for cricket? John Whiting, Harold Pinter, Henry Living, Rex Weller. So you see, who among who among the following to write is known for his love for cricket? It is Harold Pinter. Harold Pinter uh, is known for his love for cricket. Next question. Identify the correct group of consisting Wellington group of poets. Wellington group of poets. That is from New Zealand. That is from New Zealand. That is from New Zealand. Okay. That is from New Zealand. Wellington group of poets. Alan Carnew, James K. Baxter, Morris Gee. Morris Gee is not there, but uh, James K. Baxter was there. Uh, then uh, Ruth Dallas, Charles Brath, Charles Pierce, Basil Bull. No. James K. Baxter was there. Peter Bland was there. Alistair Campbell was there. Louis Johnson. Louis Johnson was the first. So here C is the answer. Baxter, Peter Bland, Alistair. Campbell Louis Jones The Wellington group of Wellington school of poets who worked okay lived in and around Wellington the capital of New Zealand 
here some writers are here James K Baxter Peter Brand Alistair Arki Campbell Gordon Chalice Louis Johnson ठीक है next question the novels of the early period in New Zealand were written on Maori like who were the Maori uh, the immigrants from Asia the immigrants from Africa the earliest inhabitants of New Zealand none of these earliest inhabitants of New Zealand are known as Maori Bhavani Bhattacharya was awarded Sahitya Academy Award in 1967 for his famous novel music for mohini so many hungers a goddess named old shadow from ladak bhavani bhattacharya has written shadow from ladak here uh, this novel for this novel he was awarded with the sahitya academy 1967 who says the poems existence is somewhere between the writer and the reader jacks derida jacks derida edward said t s eliot william himson it's t s eliot so okay. the poems experience is somewhere between the writer and the reader t s eliot who is the author of road uh, to janadu st coldis john livingston lois uh, lois william mimson f l lucas so road to janadu is by john livingston lois the meaning of meaning is a collaborated work by william mimson i a richards which are which is now of them ck ogden so i a richards and ck ogden they have actually written meaning of meaning they have collaborated okay good evening here good evening good evening so the meaning of meaning is was the meaning of meaning was authored by i a richards and ck ogden so here c is the right answer Okay. Then the following is not a new critic. John Crowe and then is a new critic. Clint Books is a new critic. F. R. Lewis, William Wingett. So all of them, uh, all of them are a new critic. Whereas F. R. Lewis is not a new critic. Excellent. So here C is the right answer. Okay. Is not a new critic. Here. 19 C. Yeah. 19 C. 19 C. 19 C. Okay. Richards. 19 C. Richards. Now done. Got it. Given. Okay. Okay. After ending this, I will be, I will be doing another session. Okay. Do join then also. Okay. Here yeah, answer is given. Okay, only for the students of PUMDET, I am not going to waste time. That's why I am going to be very fast. Okay, let's go. Who said Spencer Wright no language? It is Ben Johnson. Remember that Ben Johnson said that Spencer Wright no language. Okay, Renaissance took two days in Italy. Okay, Renaissance where it started was in Italy. Okay, let's go. El Allegro means cheerful man or happy man. Okay, or happy man. Okay, written in octosyllabic couplet. Okay. written in octosyllabic couplet okay written in octosyllabic couplet theek hai written in octosyllabic couplet theek hai by milton and is this okay uh, its component poem is el penigon theek hai by milton here who is famous as the writer of middle style it is addition joseph addition is famous for middle style and additions who has talked about this here as uh, samuel jones okay samuel jones samuel johnson has said that uh, the addition writes in middle style okay. Dryden wrote a Pindaric Ode. Alexander Fish. So, याद रखना. Dryden has, has also wrote Pindaric Ode. That is Alexander's Feast. Coleridge completed only. Uh, that is wrong. Uh, here, yeah, he has completed the Ancient Mariner, but it is not only Ode. So, Ancient Mariner it has has total seven parts. याद रखना. Ancient Mariner has total seven parts. ठीक है. चलो. The Two Nations is the other name of Benjamin Disraeli's novel Sybil. So, Sybil and its subtitle is the two nation it is written by benjamin disraeli benjamin disraeli has written uh, the novel called civil uh, its subtitle is the two nations in england who wrote absurd plays samuel beckett in england has written absurd plays okay who is the writer who is the first recipient of sahitya academy award arkin naran in 1960 in 1960 1958 mein kya hua tha guide published hua tha theek hai guide and for that guide okay we got in 1960 sahitya academy award theek hai Who developed the central intelligence technique? Central intelligence technique. Henry James, okay. Henry James, okay, has developed the central intelligence technique. Central intelligence technique, okay. I am not discussing anything, okay. Time both come, okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. In what country is Dr. Foster based? Dr. Foster, so then is the Magnum Opus by Marlow, Germany. Germany, okay. Magic realism. When it is estimated, Dr. Foster first performed in 1594. Okay. At what famous university is Foster's a scholar? Foster was scholar at Wittenberg. Name the Wittenberg. Okay. So Foster's servant shares his name with his famous German composer. Who is he? Wagner. Foster's servant shares his name with the famous German composer. His name is Wagner. Foster asks two magicians to add to aid him to help him in summoning the devil. What are their names? Bellis and Cornelius. Foster asks two magicians, Bellis and Cornelius. Through his magic, Foster is visited first by who is the devil's angel, Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. Yeah. What does Foster promise to the devil in exchange for great knowledge? 
reach power for a period of 24 years his soul okay first as will give his soul okay in exchange of great knowledge is power for a period of 24 years to mephistopheles to mephistopheles to mephistopheles which of the following qualities would most accurately describe Foster's character at the beginning of the play? Foster was ambitious, was arrogant. Okay. Foster was ambitious, he was arrogant. Which powerful figure does Foster ridicule with his newfound powers? Oh, oh, who's the ridicule? Next slide. At the end of the play, Foster is dragged down to hell, begging to repent. Does Foster repent at the end of the play? Yes, Foster was repenting at the end of the play. Okay, but that was not enough okay, to save himself. So, cover our face, mine eyes dazzle, she died young. This was said by Fadinand, okay, about the Duchess of Malfi, okay. Fadinand is saying, okay, about the Duchess of Malfi. John of Western, Duchess of Malfi. Cover her face, mine eyes dazzle, she died young, okay. Mm. When, the, when the sister died, okay, Fadinand was saying this line, in Duchess of Malfi, that was written by John of Western. The author of revolution is here F.R. Levis. F.R. Levis, the author of revolutions. Sorry, revolutions. Which war poet made the statement that his subject was P.T.O. Boar, that the poetry was in the P.T. So, P.T.O. Boar, the subject was the P.T.O. Boar, that the poetry was in the P.T. Wilfred on the war poet. Okay. Geraldine is a character in Coldridge Crystal. Geraldine is a character in Coldridge Crystal. Crystal. That is also fragmented, okay. That is also fragmented, okay. That is also incomplete, okay. Fragmented poem, okay. Uh, not completed, okay. Incomplete. Geraldine, Christabel. Christabel may appear was Geraldine. Chalo. I have measured out my life in coffee spoons. This statement made by Alfred Pupok, okay. The last song of J. Alfred Pupok by T.S. Eliot. I have measured out my life in coffee spoons. Waiting for Godot Samuel Beckett is an example for absurd dumb. Isn't it? Waiting for Godot. Okay. A tragic comedy in two acts, okay, having the subtitle. A European playwright who had dominant influence on the British drama of the first half of the 20th century was Ibsen, okay, Henry Ibsen, okay, father of realism, okay. Henry Ibsen, okay, father of realism, father of realism, okay. The author of Beggar's Opera is John Gay. Beggar's Opera written by John Gay. John Gay has written Beggar's Opera. Which 20th century, okay, poet has made the phrase to stand and to stare popular. W is Davies, okay, to stand and stare popular, okay. Made this phrase popular, to stand and stare, W is Davies. The medal was written by Dryden. Dryden has written the word, the medal, Dryden's medal. The year in which the famous modernist novel Ulysses was published in, Ulysses, the novel James just published in 1922, okay. Hi, Santulu. The technical name, okay, of unrhymed iambic pentameter is here, blank words. Technical the technical name for unwrapped iambic pentameter is blank verse. Okay, after completing session, after completing these sessions, okay, I will be uh, making another video. I'm, uh, the Commonwealth was established in England in the mid 17th century. Here, George Eliot is the pain male name, and the pain name is Marian Evans here. Okay, if you say contiguous countries instead of contiguous countries, you make making mistake known as that is malaprovision. That was popularized in the work of Seridans, the rivals, which is the malapro. Okay. Comedy is related to face in the same way as tragedy is related to melodrama. Comedy is related to farce, whereas tragedy is related to melodrama. According to Sydney, a poet represents an idealist world. Okay, an idealized world. Okay. Sydney has said a speaking picture. Okay. The dramatist who first introduced blank words in English drama was Christopher Mann. So it was Christopher Marlowe who had introduced who had introduced blank words for the first time in drama. So the defeat of the Spanish Armada took place in the year in the early 17th century. Okay. What according to Johnson's fatal Cleopatra to Shakespeare? It's a pawn, it's a pawn actually. Okay. Two of the following were the famous diaries of 17th century. Samuel Pepys and John Evelyn, they are the diaries. Okay. 17th century the diarist contra Samuel Pepys, the John Evelyn third. And they are talking about the dates of Charles the First, Oliver Cromwell, the Great Plague of London, and the Great Fire of London. Great Plague of uh, 1665 and 1666. Okay. Great Plague of London, Great Fire of London. So, in English writer, uh, the English writer who uh, wrote a delightful essay on children, he never he had, that is, Dream Children, a reverie, okay, by Charles Lamb. Okay. The movements related to art or literature were Cubism, Expressionism, Surrealism. 
some writers known as the angry young men were kinsley amis john osborne john well they are the angry young men of 1950s okay a play in which a spent three good auctions away the portraits of his ancestor is the school for scandal the school for richard seridan so richard seridan so okay richard seridan so the school for scandal about which poem character about which famous character in literature uh, about which famous character in literature is said that age cannot wither age cannot wither it is cleopatra alone alone all and this is actually situation irony situational irony situational irony okay situational irony alone alone all alone alone on a white white sea these lands occurring samuel and coolrich rhyme of the ancient mariner rhyme of the ancient mariner ठीक है दिस इज अ सिचुएशन आई लर्निंग ओके हर जगह में पानी है लेकिन पानी पीने का नहीं है ओके फुल फैदम फाइट द फादर लाइज इलस्ट्रेट्स एलिटरेशन सो हियर ए पेपर स्टडी चलो द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट इज अ यंग डॉग बाय डिलन थॉमस ओके डिलन थॉमस हैज रिटन द हियर पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट इज अ यंग डॉग दिस इज नॉट आर्टिस्ट द डॉग वाज रिटन बाय हियर डिलन थॉमस हु रोड द पोएम ट्रायलस एंड किसिडी चौसा चौसा हैज रिटन ट्रायलस एंड किसिडी ट्रायलस एंड किसिडी And for in Troilus and Cressida, for the first time he had introduced rhyme well. Rhyme well was for the first time introduced, okay, by Chaucer in Troilus and Cressida. Okay. Troilus and Cressida. So, Milton's Paradise Lost, published in 1667, ten books and uh, 12, two books were added, okay. Uh, total twelve books. Total there are twelve books and the first second edition published in 1674. Seventy four. First edition 1667 में ten books था, twelve books. Then two books are added in 1670 for edition. About whom did uh, about whom did David Gary comment that he spoke like a poor old but wrote like an angel? Oliver Goldsmith. Richard's novel Pamela, having the subtitle Virtue Reordered, is an epistolary novel. So here Samuel Richardson's novel Pamela or Virtue Reordered is an epistolary novel. Which of the following is a pastoral elegy listed as Milton's listed as on the death of Edward King? On the death of Edward King. On the death of Edward King. On the death of Edward King, who among the following was a pre-Raphaelite poet? Rossetti, pre-Raphaelite movement first started 1848. Be, okay, chal. The author of the version of the Bible appeared in 1611. Okay, King James the first. Chal. Who among the following is an Anglo-Saxon epic? Beowulf. This is this is heroic poem. Okay, heroic poem. Okay, of Anglo-Saxon literature. Heroic poem of Anglo-Saxon literature. Next question. Chal. The printing press was first introduced in England by Caxton. In 1476, okay. In 1476, okay. England में West Saxon में आया था. Ah, uh, yeah, West Saxon. Is it West Saxon or West Minster? Do we have? But in England में 1476 में आया था. Chaucer's Pilgrims first met in the place called Tabard Inn. Okay. Harry Valley was the there. Yeah, Harry Valley. Okay. The owner of the tab Inn. Harry Valley. Some of Shakespeare's sonnets were addressed to Dark Lady and some were addressed to Mr. W. H. Also, Mr. W. H. As well as Dark Lady. ठीक है. चल. The famous letter to Lord Chesterfield. Of which sounded the bell name of literary patron was written by Samuel Johnson. Periphery is actually reversal of fortune. Okay, reversal of fortune when the protagonist takes course of action and it brings about the opposite to the expected result. Reversal of fortune is known as periphery. Anagnosis is anagnosis is uh, what is anagnosis? Anagnosis is a like regulation. Okay. Hmm. Uh, a tale of time is a comedy by Ben Johnson, satire by Swift. Okay. Tale of time is a comedy by Ben Johnson. That it is also okay. Uh, there is a set satire also written by Swift. Swift has also written a satire, Tale of Tom. The comedy by Ben Johnson, as well as a satire by Swift also. Okay, so then you have a woman playwright who has who was a popular in the Restoration age was Afra Ben. Afra Ben Oronuku. Afra Ben Oronuku. Afra Ben Oronuku. Afra Ben Oronuku. The or having the subtitle the Royal Slave. The Royal Slave. The Royal Slave is actually the subtitle of Oronu. The Royal Slave. Okay. A woman playwright who was popular in the Restoration was Afra Bell, who was the first female writer okay, to uh, leave to leave her livelihood livelihood by writing by writing novels. Okay. She was the she was the first uh, woman writer uh, to leave her livelihood okay, by writing only. And she had written the famous novel Oronu, having the subtitle The Royal Slave. The principal of literary criticism. is a work by i richards published in 1924 okay i richards the i richards the new critic a modern play which employs the classical convention of the chorus in modern in the cathedral was written by t s eliot chorus 
classical combination of porous is murdered in the catheter by TSA. The central function of criticism, according to Arnold, is promote discrimination in the reader and civilized standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Wait to watch. Okay. Tomorrow is the exam, na? Kal exam, na? The fault, dear Brutus, that's why I am completing very fast. Okay. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our starts, but in our show that we are underlining. Okay. These lines occur in the play by Shakespeare, it is in Julius Caesar. And I am dumb to tell the lover's storm how at my seat goes the same book home. These lines occur in Dylan Thomas, the force that through the green fuse drives and the plot. So, what is Prozidrama very important? Hai? To be read but not to be performed. Prozidrama kya hai? Isko to be read but not to be performed. That is called closed drama. The Lotus is a poem by Tarudar, whereas the Lotus Eaters is a poem by Tennyson. The Lotus is a by Tarudar, whereas the Lotus Eaters is, a, is by Tennyson. Who is known as the Jackie Collins of India? Sobhade. Sobhade. Okay. Starry Nights. Society Divinities. Yes, yes. Starry Nights. Okay. Uh, Starry Nights. Then Society Divinities. Okay. These are important works by uh, Sobhade. Hmm? Okay. So, what is it? Jackie Collins of India. Okay. Hmm. Erotic writing. Uh, erotic writing. Chal. Who is called as mother of modern English poetry? Kamala Das. Mother of modern English Indian poetry, confessional poet, having this. Uh, her pen name is Madhuri Kutti. Okay. And introductions is the famous poem of Kamala Das. Okay. Then you have his, uh, her uh, autobiography that is My Story. Okay. My Story. My Story. My Story. Okay. Chal. Old Playhouse, another poet. Old Playhouse, okay. Old Playhouse is another the poetry collection, okay. Summer in Calcutta. So. I had a lover's quarrel with the world. This epigraph engraved on whose talk? Robert Frost, the lesson for today's last time. So. You see here that I have a lover's quarrel with the world. The epigraph engraved on whose talk? Robert Frost. Robert Frost, okay, uh, received four times Pulitzer Prize. Four times Pulitzer Prize. Who wrote Laud Laudamia? Laudamia by Wordsworth, okay. Laudamia is actually, uh, that is, Laudamia is a narrative book by William Watson based on the story from the Trojan War, okay. Who coined the term New Historism? Stephen Greenberg has coined New Historism. Who coined the term Interpolation? Louis Althusser. Louis Althusser has actually coined the term Interpolation. Interpolation was coined by Louis Althusser. Society is necessary but corrupting. Solitude is inevitable but it is destroyed. Is a recurring theme in which modern novelist Conrad, okay, Conrad, Joseph Conrad. Bliss is bliss was it in that dawn to be alive, but to be young was very heaven. This occurs in the poems of Wordsworth. A dance of the forest is a work by Old Swanka. A dance of the forest is a work by Old Swanka. These are all questions that I have finished very quickly. Just for the candidates of UMDET. So let's end this session here. I'll be I'll be I'll be conducting another session. In a hurry, I had completed, okay, I, I don't know what I have said, what I have said, okay, but uh, 